Okay, so today we will take a look at how to create a custom crosshair for a first-person shooter. And as you can see, I've already created a custom one. A little light blue. So what you do is, you can start by going to textures. And here you will see the crosshair that is included and you can see that the dimensions are 16 by 16 pixels so enter your image editing program I prefer GIMP which is free and just totally awesome then create new create new yeah, and you can just let the width and height be 16 by 16, like this, tiny, tiny little, like that, and open a couple of new ones. I can put a link to GIMP, the download, you know, beneath this video, if you like. So what I like to start with is just create a point in the exact middle which would be 8 by 8 <laughs> right there like that and then I will choose the layer above it because I will remove this once I'm done and then take the color you'd like I'm going to create a green crosshair right now. So then I just find where 8 is on the side here. There. <laughs> and if you want a straight line in GIMP, you can just keep hold shift in and it will say this line and I'll take it almost to the middle but not quite like, yeah like that and I'll do the same on the other place the other side and below as above so below and then I'll remove this layer and the layer beneath it and I think I'm gonna create a little opening in the middle here like that so that's okay I'll just call that save it as crosshair underline green if you just call it crosshair it will uh, save over overwrite the existing one and we don't want that export as TGA that's what you need so you can just save that wherever you want so now this is good and then with the textures mark just import and locate our file crosshair crosshair green bloom like that here it is save now to get this to actually become your crosshair you have to find the HUD blueprints so go to blueprints and scroll down to my HUD open it and here you have the event graph for your HUD 
And in draw texture, you have texture, click crosshair blue, which is mine. It will probably just have crosshair or something else, I don't know. And then locate your new crosshair, open it, compile, and now we will see. And just play. And there you have it. Your custom crosshair. Yay!